Welcome to RBC. Ini jenis number one broadcasting channel. With me, Sian Anu Pangestu. Me, Ega Wipisona. We are going to accompany you for the next five minutes. What do you have here, Sian? Oh yes. Two days ago, the ship climbed a house in the Netherlands. And stayed there for over two hours. The ship had found a job for three supplies. He said, I did not teach my ship to climb a house and stay there. So I did my ship to them. They're 43 years old. Man found a ship after being told that Van Persie had been run out of the house. Van Persie, the first part, outside the south, the south ship was lying towards the south. Suddenly, he walked a bit from the woods. He thought that he walked across the ship to climb the south. Several minutes later, the next meeting came. It took about an hour to take the ship down. Yes, now the ship has returned to the earth. And next, what we have here is in our second topic came from Los Angeles, USA. The 2014 Extreme Games Competition, EGC, held. It seems like we have a big air multiple competitor whose wheels came off the track. That's right, it happened yesterday at the games when he was in the pit carrying a motocross bike for his action, but robot of the wheels. I don't even think that the bike can work, but it really happened. Tom Sneeze, the rider, hurt his head and broke his left arm while he was the ground. He was rushed to the hospital for the first aid. Because of that accident, the competition has been delayed and continued the next day. The couple predicted that Tom would be able to ride until he finished the therapy session. For our third topic, we have a press. Yesterday in Canada, the local police found an SUV car crashed into a tree. No one's there. It was very strange under the police, his name is Clark Goodman, found dog tracks on the ground. It's possible the man was in the car, saw a dog on the street. He was surprised and crashed into a tree. The dog may be just down the mat to save Clark. At Clark in the afternoon, place for a local time that day, a six years old kid, pretty white, so the man who was running into the woods, he heard the dog to Clark's. Maybe that's a very good one. Now, the police are searching for more evidence near to the crash site. So far, the scenario told by Clark with man is the most possible thing that happened to the man. Okay, we move on to talking on board. What do we have here, Edgar? Here, we have a man who don't feel fear. Several days ago, our reporter interviewed a man called Johan Lee, who works in a zoo in China. Yes, he works with crocodiles. The place is crocodile and he fits them. Maybe we should appreciate him, because if you look there, if the crocodile goes to smart, he's done. Yeah, and what amazed me is during the interview, he said that he is not a at all. He looked happy when he cleaned the crocodile and the kitchen. And he said that this is the only way he can make money for his family. So, he has to do this. Yes, you're right, Jane. It's time for us to say goodbye. Yes, that's all for today. I'm Shadano Pangestu. And I'm Mega Wibisono. This is IBC and see you next time.